The final piece of what is pretty much a three-step process for setting up your map is to add the map itself to a post. Now, um, this is assuming you've set up your map, you've added all your locations, though you can, you can add your map to your post at any point, but you'll at least want to have your map set up. That way, you know, obviously it will display that way. Otherwise, Mapify doesn't know what to display. So for this example, you can see this small map that I have embedded into what is essentially a page. The FAQ here is a child page to this overall parent page. Um, and I've simply embedded the map by using a short code. So here's the front end. It's all fully functional map, just like on the home page. Uh, you can embed this anywhere you want. Um, but let's look at the back end and how that is visually set up. Um, the FAQ, I have all my questions kind of in this, this scrollable field, and the map is kind of randomly in there to, to just display it. It's kind of relevant to the question. So I have all of my questions and answers here, and then you'll note the most important thing here is the short code. That's all it takes to embed a map in Mapify is to embed this short code here that says custom dash mapping width equals uh, and then in quotes, 584. That 584 is the exact width of this map here. So you can set the height and width parameters there. And essentially this, this short code can be placed anywhere, whether on a page or a blog post and whatnot. Um, and it will display the map that you have previously set up with all of the map locations that you have also previously set up on your map.